Have you ever wondered if a passenger jet can fly with only one engine? A twin-engine passenger jet is fully capable of flying with only one engine. In fact, it can safely continue takeoff and land with one engine functioning. Extensive pilot training ensures that an engine failure during flight is typically manageable. Pilots follow a fundamental aviation principle, summarized by the acronym Aviate Navigate Communicate, to handle any airborne emergency. This rule prioritizes controlling the aircraft first, ensuring it is stable before adjusting its navigational path and communicating with air traffic control. Different engine problems require varied responses from the flight crew based on the urgency. For instance, an engine fire necessitates immediate action, starting with verifying control of the aircraft. Pilots perform memory actions from memory, such as shutting down the engine and deploying fire extinguishers before consulting a checklist for further steps. In less severe cases, like a simple engine failure, pilots use a checklist to diagnose and potentially restart the engine. Any failure on a twin-engine aircraft mandates landing at the nearest suitable airport, which is unlikely to be the original destination. Memory actions for severe engine issues involve 1. Disengaging the autothrottle to stop automatic thrust control. 2. Reducing thrust to idle on the affected engine. 3. Turning off the fuel control switch to stop fuel flow. 4. Pulling the fire handle switch to disengage the engine systems. 5. Discharging fire bottles if the fire persists. All actions are verified by both pilots to avoid errors, ensuring the correct engine is addressed. Engines are designed to contain fires within their housings, but in extreme cases, an emergency landing might be necessary. Several issues can lead to engine failure or necessitate shutdown. Implications of engine failure involves The aircraft will tend to turn away from the operational engine, requiring pilots to use rudder pedals to maintain control. With one engine, the aircraft cannot maintain cruising altitude and must descend to an altitude manageable by the remaining engine. Many aircraft systems rely on engine power, so redundancy through the other engine is crucial. Some systems may become partially unavailable, affecting handling and performance. Engine loss affects landing configurations and requires a longer runway. Pilots must carefully choose an appropriate airport, considering weather, runway length, and aircraft weight. The most critical time for engine failure is during takeoff, from the start of the roll until around 1500 feet. Pilots undergo extensive training for this scenario, tested every six months in simulators. If an engine fails before reaching V1 speed, pilots abort the takeoff. After V1, they must continue the takeoff, as stopping would not be feasible with the remaining runway length. A four-engine aircraft, like the Boeing 747 or the Airbus A380, can handle an engine failure more comfortably than a twin-engine jet. It can continue flying with one engine out and, even with two engines failed, maintain flight at lower altitudes, especially at reduced weights. Engine failures are rare, thanks to advancements in technology. Statistics indicate less than one failure per million flights, roughly 25 incidents annually in commercial aviation. Engines are designed to contain failures and prevent them from spreading, enhancing overall aircraft safety. In conclusion, while an engine failure in a passenger jet is a serious event, modern aircraft and rigorous pilot training ensure that such incidents are handled safely and efficiently, minimizing risk to passengers and crew.